When I started uh, 10 years ago, data, getting your hands on data as far as an end user was kind of an anomaly. Like people just weren't aware that they could get data. And as we switched to Argos, people just, their thirst for getting at data and slicing and dicing it different ways has just continued to grow. So with, with uh, implementing Argos, um, we were able to hire on extra people, more analysts, um, to continue to churn out reports. And just the ease of handing over a report to the end users freed up so much time for bigger projects. Um, we do a lot of uh, third-party implementations and bridging now. Um, it's definitely freed up a lot of my time to seek out more projects for the department. In my previous role, I was a report writer, mostly data block designer, um, just facilitated in ad hoc reporting and um, tried to enable the users to run their own reports, which was a big growing pain or pain with access. A lot of times we would run the report and then deliver the Excel sheet, Excel sheet on request. Now we can turn the reports over to the end users to run themselves at their leisure. People who were used to using Access definitely got great value out of it. Um, oh wow, this is amazing, I can get my report myself. Um, print it, you can save it. Um, you can email it right from Argos. Um, we've got a lot of good positive feedback and it's saving a lot of time around campus. Currently, I use it more, I don't do as much report writing, I do some. Um, I use it more for bridging data to and from other systems. We use um, TargetX, which is a Salesforce uh, admissions module. Um, so we need to push data back to there from Banner frequently. Um, so we have a series of data blocks that we use to push data back there. Um, we SFTP a lot to other third-party vendors, um, and then we can use X or Argos to write directly to custom tables in our schema as well. Argos is uh, pretty easy to use. Um, I like that you can go free type and back to some degree. Um, I actually started as an analyst not knowing SQL. I was just visual designer and access is all I used. Um, so definitely learning is SQL as I started using Argos, being able to see it in visual designer and jump back and forth was really handy. Um, building out forms is really easy. Um, just drag and drop pretty much. Um, setting up various tasks within the scheduler is really easy and control over the schedules are really easy to manage. How I'm using Argos, I use it mostly for um, writing reports. Um, we use Data Block Manager, so we um, kind of make various reports and then we um, divvy that down to people below um, where they can kind of filter and stuff like that. And we use it also for scheduling um, so that we can send out email blasts and stuff like that. Argos has definitely been easier than, we used to use Access, Microsoft Access a lot, and so it's definitely been easier to um, kind of view the whole data block and stuff um, where we can see a lot more uh, and kind of like pull fields in and stuff easier, I think and the connections uh, that we can make between databases has been kind of easier to do uh, in Argos as well. I think for the most part, um, it helps us to speed up things a little bit, um, but I think primarily it's just nice because you can um, have like forms and stuff that are easier to, for people to use, which we didn't really have uh, using Access all that much, or at least we didn't use the features um, <laughs> all that much. So with Access or Argos, we're able to, um, yeah, kind of like have things easier for the end user to see and kind of be able to like filter reports and stuff like that easier. I think when it comes down to it, it's just able to like pull in different tables and then you can see all the fields like, and you can see you can basically select from the list and kind of pull the fields that you need. Um, you can make connections between, like I said, various tables. That's probably the biggest piece that I use it for is for email blasts um, because in Gmail, there's a restriction. We can only send a certain amount. Um, otherwise it marks it as spam because it if you send too many emails, it thinks you're spamming people. So with uh, Argos, we're able to get around that. When I first started doing SQL, I, I did 100% uh, free, free, uh, freestyle, just right in Notepad, basically. Um, but I trained myself to actually do visual design because it's easier to hand out to somebody else. Whereas if you write SQL, everybody has their own uh, way of writing it, their, their own style. So. There's a like a almost like a learning curve to how somebody the, the style of writing their SQL. Whereas visual designer, every it's just the same way for pretty much everybody. You can see what 
which table is connected to which table when like right off the bat without having to learn somebody's nuances. One of the things that, that um, other departments really liked are, are pivot tables and Argos offers the, the OLAP cube where they're able to move fields around and, and to organize it in the way they want to see it. So you can set it as a default and they can still, still move it around and save whatever state they want to see it as. The three areas that, that have seen the most and have expressed their, um, uh, I guess the value that they've, they've gotten from the project is uh, HR, uh, finance, and payroll. Uh, they, they've gotten, it, it's cutting, just for payroll specifically, it cuts their, uh, uh, the review process of the payroll from out, used to be hours down to minutes. Uh, 